one of the most recognizable personalities in all of Canada. Don Cherry was a standout defenseman and award-winning coach in the American Hockey League before he ever sat behind the coach's corner desk. Cherry's prolific career as a defenseman included 767 games in the AHL with the Hershey Bears, the Springfield Indians, and the Rochester Americans collecting 259 points and racking up more than 1,000 penalty minutes. Congratulations, Don. When I heard you were inducted into the Hall of Fame, the American League Hall of Fame, I was so proud and happy for you. I wasn't sure if you were going to be as a player, a coach, or a manager as you excelled in them all. You were the first person to come when I turned pro with the Springfield Indians to come and greet me and you looked after us on and off the ice. One thing about Don Cherry, he was a defensive defenseman that he cared about winning. The Kingston, Ontario native signed his first professional contract with the Bears in 1954 and played 63 games as a rookie, plus one playoff contest with the Boston Bruins in what would be the only NHL appearance of his career. Cherry joined owner Eddie Shore's Springfield Club in 1957 and helped the Indians reach their first Calder Cup Finals in 1958 and then secure their first championship in 1960. Congratulations to you, Don Cherry, my friend. You really deserve it. Your love of hockey has been great. Your intensity and your will to win has been rubbed off on all of us. And you have helped many players to improve their games. I really enjoyed playing with you. You were a great man. Cherry brought his rock'em sock'em style of play to Rochester in 1963, and the Amherst were soon the class of the league, reaching four consecutive Calder Cup finals and winning championships in 1965, 1966, and in 1968. He settled in Western New York after retiring in 1969, and after two years away from hockey, he rejoined the Emmerichs as a player coach. Rochester finished strong in 1972, qualified for the playoffs in 1973, and then posted the best record in the league in 1974, earning Cherry the Louis A.R. Pieri Award as the AHL's Coach of the Year. Cherry went on to coach the Boston Bruins and the Colorado Rockies in the National Hockey League and since 1980 has been an iconic commentator on CBC's Hockey Night in Canada. Well, Don, it gives me great pleasure to uh, congratulate everybody going into the American Hockey League Hall of Fame. Uh, you know how we Especially me. I'm glad I got it. And Brad Smith and uh, Murray Eves and John Anderson. John Anderson, they still have his big hockey stick back on Dundas Street here. But to uh, begin with those guys, it really means something. I, I think it was more when I was general manager and coach. I think I got in for that rather than a player. I was a pretty good player. I was a tough player and won a couple of Calder Cups. But anyhow, in five. In, in five you don't uh, take credit for one in Springfield, but you No, did. You I only there. played 52 games against sent to Three Rivers. And by Eddie Shore. We won't go into that. But anyhow, what I really liked was when... Uh, when I got made, I was unemployed. I, I had no money at all. I'd, I'd get a job sweeping floors and everything. And Bob Clark, God love him, he phoned, would you want a coach? And 15 grand, everybody else was getting about 50. And I said, I phoned him back, Rose said, why don't you call him back and be general man? I said, I'll be general manager, scout, the whole day. I said, how many players you got? He said, one, you, me, I was the guy, Lynn, me and Lynn Zimmerman. Anyhow, it's been, and uh, we went on and Battleship Kelly, we went through all that. And I went to the Boston Bruins, and I owe everything to the American Hockey League. I owe, I, I spent a, hours and hours on the bus, and all you people there, I want to thank. I remember Jack Butterfield. We used to get in trouble. We used to get in trouble with him all the time, but he was a great guy. Everybody in the American, Dave Andrews, and everybody, right. I want to thank everybody so much for it's a great, great, great honor for me, and I really appreciate it.